Hello, welcome to my channel AJ Studio. Today we are going to study regarding threads. Previous video we have seen uh, re regarding multi threading, that is the example uh, which I have typed over here, which is we have typed in the previous video using extend threads. But uh, uh, anyhow, we have seen that uh, there are two ways to create threads one is extending threads, and one more is implementing runnable interface. Today I am going to do using a runnable interface. We will see how to do that. How to do that. So it's very simple. Uh, let us uh, change that. So here you can see there are um, two classes. Anyhow, you have seen that there are two classes hello and hi. So extends threads. So instead of extend threads, I will change it to implements runnable. I will change it to implements. Change it to uh, implements runnable now it is changed to runnable interface runnable is a interface you can see it is a functional interface runnable uh, is that is uh, instead of a thread class okay that uh, instead of thread class you can use runnable same way i'm going to do it here also just let me copy the thing and the same paste it over here okay so now even high is also a interface so uh, runnable interface so both are thread now uh, yes now there is uh, some problem below you can see over here um, that is obj1 so see obj1 is object of hello before it was thread class so thread class inside thread class start was that but here obj1 is not thread class it is a runnable interface now both are runnable so it will show errors for start because the start comes only in thread class thread class it is a uh, method comes in thread class so what should we do so let us create two threads down here let me create two threads over here so thread thread t1 uh, equal, uh, equal to let me create new thread new thread okay fine so i have created a one thread t1 and one more thread let me create okay that is a t2 so t2 is the next thread so new uh, thread okay so of course uh, second thread is also done so i have created two threads that is a t1 and a t2 let let's change this see you know that uh, start comes uh, a start method comes in which class that is uh, you know that it is in thread class so instead of obj1 let me change it to t1 dot start here i will change it to t2 dot start so i think uh, now that error will go you can see that the error will go now the error is not there now of course the error is not there because the t1 and t2 are threads so inside the thread of course start method will come and uh, but here uh, let's see what, whether this one will work or not so everything we have done okay everything we have done and uh, all the things are done okay and you have created two threads and you have made it uh, this hello hi uh, instead of extending the threads you have made it as runnable interface so let us run this and see what will happen okay let me run this uh, okay it's not displaying anything it's displaying only arjun so it's displaying only arjun so let me uh, see there is a problem here there is a problem in the program what is that pro problem so we'll see that see uh, you know that both hello and hi is not thread class it's not extending threads but it implements runnable but what you are doing here you are calling thread class t1 and t2 so t1 and t2 start okay it will uh, call its inbuilt run method but it's not linking with this run method whatever you have written here t1 dot start means you know that internally it will call run method so actually you are not linking this uh, run method with the inbuilt run method so what we have to do is the uh, whatever the see so you know that hello hello uh, hello's object is obj1 hello uh, you have created object of hello that is obj1 and hi obj2 so you should link with that this thread these two threads so what should i do so very simple okay in in the t1 thread you should link obj1 
and in uh, thread t2 you should link uh, obj2 so so how can i do that here there is a parameter over here you can uh, you can see here thread is there and you see here uh, thread runnable target so you can give a runnable target what is the runnable target of course uh, you can allocate a runnable target so i will give the runnable target okay uh, so here that is obj1 obj1 inside here so that is this one so i am linking obj1 to thread1 so anyhow it will call internally uh, hello class it will call hello class run method hello class run method this one t1 so now what about t2 so you should link obj2 so you should link obj2 so now uh, uh, thread t1 and t2 are linked with obj1 and obj2 respectively so now let us run and see what will happen yes uh, now it is you can see that the output is proper it is running in a proper way and it is running parallelly let me show it once again let me run this you can see here hi hello hello hi hello hi hi hello hi hello this is the way it will run so what are the things we have done see in the previous uh, video we have seen that you are extending uh, extending thread but here you are using runnable so what is the use of runnable see in java uh, you know that uh, java doesn't support multiple inheritance so implements will be very helpful if you want to extend some other classes and implement runnable also then it will be helpful very helpful for you so it's like see i'll just uh, uh, let's consider there is a class uh, uh, multi okay class multi i'll just open it and i'll close it class is there okay just wait a minute we show that see this is a class multi i want to extend this class so hi uh, so i can use extends multi see uh, here what is happening is hi is extending multi and even implements runnable both both you can do but if you use extends keywords for uh, uh, thread class already thread class is there you can't uh, extend multi it's like see i'll just uh, remove this instead of this uh, previous example see the, here there is no error i can extend multi that is multi class as well as runnable interface but in the previous example uh, let me go to the previous example what you had uh, extend thread class okay extends a thread so extend threads so uh, let me open the bracket yes so you can see this is a red thread class in the previous example in the previous video we have seen this now i want to extend multi also so uh, can i give one more comma uh, multi so i i need to extend multi also in this class so what you have to you can't syntax error it's not it's not accepting because multiple inheritance is not supported so that is why extend keywords that is a problem so what can i do instead of that i want thread also i want multi also i want my class this class should be thread so you can use runnable so what can i do very simple extends multi you keep extends multi only but i want a thread class also so what will i do implements uh, you know implements you have a interface called runnable you use that also so both the things are done now so there is no problem i have extended multi as well as implements runnable and no problem at all i can run this without any error and i'll get the output so that is the reason normally you will go for runnable interface there is no problem but you must know both the uh, methods uh, both the ways to create a thread class and i hope you understood this video and thank you so much for listening okay and don't forget to share subscribe and like thank you